Uncle, it will become a warehouse tomorrow. So I invited you to the old base here for dinner. It'll be a good memory for us. As long as it's not a Hongbin feast. Also, Uncle, I'd like your advice. Go ahead. Uncle, Yao Yan looks up to you a lot. You raised him well. You're his only family. There are some things that we don't feel compelled to tell people, but there's something that you must know. And now, it's Yao Yan's critical moment. Most companies stay at this stage and will develop no further. They're content with the status they have attained. But you know Yao Yan very well. He's different. He's like a carp leaping into the Dragon's Gate. Yao Yan's goal is never to make more money. His goal is always so far away, just like the name of our company. Through his act of merging Nanfang Express, you can tell he doesn't follow the norm. Honestly, that's what I'm worried about. It's frightening. He doesn't stop expanding. <laughs> the food's cold. Uncle, it's time to eat. Come on, take a shot. <laughs> About the rezoning. Did he ask you to do it? Or was that your decision? You sure know everything. Tell me. Do you have any idea what Yao Yun's only weakness is? His tender heart. His heart is easily swayed. So you decided it on your own, huh? You're more courageous than he is. Lu Xiao, what exactly do you want to do? Changing franchises involves everyone's interests. Aren't you afraid those people are trouble? I am. But if I can somehow help him get all these offending things over and done with, when he comes back, he can achieve his dream by just taking a bigger leap. I feel great just thinking about it. The others will blame you. They're his brothers. How can you be able to stay here? You should think about the consequences when you do something. Hey, Uncle. Another shot. You're a brilliant man, you know. Tell me. How can I help you? You can be the leader. To grow the business in your hometown. You know best about the business there. These are developed areas. There's still a reasonable output of businesses. What's more, if you would be able to get a hold of the area, that would be a big help for Yao Yen. Yes, I know it will. I'd have to steal the business from our original company. I'm afraid that- You know Yao Yen well, uncle. Do you think he's afraid of that? I even think he's excited to compete with the old company. Who'll be in charge of Dongguan, then? Here. make a toast to you. Thank you. Mm. I just realized you want to be responsible for when people are offended when Yuan leaves. You're cleaning his path, aren't you? Uncle, you know me well. Cheers. everything. It's a complete mess. That's good. He could stay one more day. He gave us the design drawings. Pass them all today. Let him contact the machine for a placement tomorrow. <laughs> Come on, Eileen. The credit is all on you, my dear. 
I'm fine. But, sir... I can drink some more. Easy, okay? Really, I'll be fine. Thank you. No more drinking. Just relax. Huh? Take it easy, okay? Oh. Shoe, you all right? <laughs> Manager, sir. <laughs> Thank you so much. There, there, it's fine. It's fine. <laughs> One more? No more. No more drinking. I'm fine. I can drink. Let's have another. Yes, sir. Yes. <laughs> good, good, go. <laughs> yes. <laughs> it's good to puke. Now he can drink some more. Are you sure he'll be all right? He'll be just fine. <sighs> Let's sit there. All right. You still have a hangover? <laughs> well, to be honest, during my entire stay here, I've probably consumed all the alcohol I've ever had. <laughs> no one forced you to drink, you know. You insisted to continue. I didn't want to trouble you. I know someone has given you a task. But I also know that you would protect me. Thank you. <laughs> hey, Mr. Shu. Why did you reserve two plants for equipment replacement? I can clearly tell that you're holding back. There are some things that I just can't decide on. I left two plans for you to decide for yourself. Hey. Do you... Really want to contract that factory? I really do want to. Well, it's all up to you. I'll get to the point. If you decide to buy the equipment in Shanghai, I can guarantee that you can keep up with the trend in Shanghai and not be eliminated in five years. Mm. However, with Wu Feng's equipment, you can use it for two or three years at best. Wu Xiaoguang, he wants you to purchase his obsolete equipment. I think he's being selfish. Aren't you betraying your employer with that? <laughs> no, I'm not. I'm just being technical, talking about it from a professional point of view. And to be honest with you, I don't think it's easy for you to deal with this. I don't want you <coughs> to lose. You're a good man. <laughs> What's the use of that? Who can evaluate the value of good men? I can. I mean it. I really do mean it, trust me. Oh. I have to go. <laughs> I have an idea. Huh? <laughs> but don't laugh at me when I say what it is. If I contract the factory to bring the equipment from Shanghai, could you come and help me here? Me? I can give you the shares and... <laughs> Never mind. Ah, uh, goodbye. Take care. The train is approaching the station. Platform 1, please prepare for transfer. Station staff, please be prepared for the arrival of train 1281 from Baotou. That's right, lift it! Up, up, up! Stop! Okay, okay, move forward. Move a little more forward. There, that's it, that's it. Okay, that's perfect. Uh, carefully! One by one, yes, that's good. Put them here. Let's move together. Careful. Here. Uh, hey, okay, hey, man. Hand that to me. Hey. Hi. It's so strange. I don't know what's changed, but it just feels kind of different here. Uh, what are you here for? Did you come here for inspection, Miss Hua? Where's Lu Xiao Oh? She's upstairs. Do you think you could take me to her? <sighs> don't worry, Miss Hua. I do everything you say. There's 
sweat on your face. Your neck and hair. Let me just... there. I heard you're the franchiser in Sichuan. How do you know? Well, I found out because all of you have to report to us. That place is my hometown. Do you need a friend to help you there? <laughs> I don't. Then you can help me build a store for my uncle. Are you... asking me? I promise you won't regret it. Please go, chum. Just send me his number and address. Leave the rest to me. Now we're clear about all the orders. Mm -hmm. All right, Uncle. Let's repair the warehouse while the weather is still good, or else it'll be difficult. Mm -hmm. Come in. Xiaowo. Yes? Guess who's here? All right, Uncle. The warehouse, okay? <sighs> okay, okay. <laughs> Sure, of course. <laughs> We're still friends after all. You haven't come to see me for a long time. <sighs> it looks different here. I didn't expect you to stay with him for so long. Is this a business or personal trip? It's both. It's the last time I check accounts before I leave. Leave? Where are you going? <laughs> see you at Global Purchase. Liu Yuntian gave me the same quote as yours, you see. <sighs> Why are you laughing like that? <laughs> hey, what are you laughing at? <laughs> Uncle, huh? she finally begged me to do something. What do you mean? The day has finally come. Yes, yes, yes! <laughs> You really made that choice? But why? Because I wanted to have freedom. What is it? I made it a point to... I guess I was blinded by you. Xiao'o. You've always been a role model to me. It's my dream to be like you. Now I realize we're totally different people. Do you hate me? I'll give you the same answer. Don't think too much. I understand your pain. You understand mine, but... who can understand yours? We just landed. I was thinking about it on the plane. Has the expert left? He has already left. It's too late for you to remember. Also, I've contracted a factory. That's very typical of you, but you really should have discussed with me first before deciding. It had nothing to do with you. Thanks, Shao, for Okay. Me. Bye. Brother, let me. You're supposed to call. Huh? Isn't it a mess here at home? You didn't even call me while I was away. <laughs> Don't worry. Our car's right over there. Hello. We just landed. While you were gone, there are three things that I did around here. Listen to me and don't worry. Go ahead. First, I adjusted the franchise areas. Uncle Dakan and Erkun were assigned to Jiangsu and Zhejiang. Gao Chang's in charge of Chengdu and Li Xiaobiu in Dongguan. Wait, you what? Let me finish. Secondly, I've re-established some of the departments you vetoed, including after-sales service, customer service, and corporate image promotion. So our monthly expenses will increase. Lu Xiao. You'll find that it'll be worth it. Lastly, I re-established a reward and penalty system. Be strict. I dismissed one of the veterans who claimed to fight with you and find two others. That means, when you get back, people will be telling you bad things about me. Are you okay with that? We're going to talk. Come on, they're waiting.
there. Don't you think it looks different there? We really can't fix it. We have to ask the expert. <laughs> Balian! Balian! Yeah? I'm over here. Guess you just arrived. <laughs> just when we the need expert. it. Hey, Mr. Yao's brother's back. Brother's the brother's here. Here. back. Hi. Brother's back. He's here. He's back. He's back. Hey. He's back. Hey. Hey. Nice oh, to see you, sir. So good to see you. <laughs> Welcome hey. back home, brother. Hey. Hey. Welcome back. Hey. Hey. How was your trip? Hey. 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 Listen to me. Right. Don't rush. Everyone has a share. Don't rush, hey. okay? Hey, you went. Nice to see you again. Listen, someone's waiting for you. She let me guard the room so no one can get in. Don't rush, everyone has a share. Everyone <laughs> said. Hey, 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 Yuan, do you remember this red bracelet? It's a gift I asked you to give me when I got off the train from your hometown. The hardest part of joining the company was the arguing I've done for you. I've been seen as the villain. But now, you can achieve your dream by making bold reforms. I'll leave this suite for you to live in. I even posted a bigger map of the world for you. You've gone through a lot. Wait for me, Shao. I owe you. Wait for me. Forgive me for leaving without a goodbye, and choosing to miss you, just as you were about to come home. We cleared it up three years ago. All of it. I deleted all the diary entries in my blog. I can't tell if you chose me because Aelian left, or out of sympathy towards me. But it's getting clearer and clearer. We don't have the same views, including the way we manage the company. If we are forced to be together, you and I may not even be able to be friends. From now on, you have to walk on your own. You have to overcome the impulse and keep the passion in your heart and learn to differentiate between family and business. Your company is not a welfare home. You need to go further and get rid of the emotional burden. You need to judge rationally. When you can't control your mood, Aileen is one call away. I'm going far away. If you can wait, then maybe one day we can meet each other again. Just like how you and I met, the very first time. I just put everything on a pause. You choose whether to continue or not.
bait. What I care about the most is the land. <laughs> Don't worry, brother. No one dares to compete with us for the logistics space. I'll beat anyone who tries to compete with me, Chengdu. Listen to me. Don't come back alive if you fail to do it. Yeah! Oh, I'll hold that for you. Pleasure and honor for me to be able to take part in this relay of the Olympic Games. Mr. Liu, you need to come with me immediately. Hey, brother. You were just like an athlete at the Olympic relay today, weren't you? No worse than Olympic champion Liu Xiang. Xiao Biao, through the years, you've gotten quite a silver tongue. Oh, I'm not the only one, you know? Everyone else thinks so. Today I told you to ask two people to pull the flags. Why'd you call so many? They have to deliver. It's no problem. They're all from the headquarters. Hey, pull over right there. Brother, let me drive you to the airport. It's fine. We agreed I'd... <laughs> go there myself. You're in charge of this area. You have other things to do. But I'm fine. Brother, take care of yourself. Yeah. Xiao Biao. Yeah. Do you think it's good to have so many people in an express company's HQ? Uh, I'll come back and deal with it. Good. The number three logistics base, 30 million on number 14. Anyone willing to top that? 35 million? Yes, there we go. That's 35 million on number 11. 35 million. Anyone else? Going once at 35 million. Any more takers? There we go. Number 14 at 40 million. Anyone else offering more than 40 million? I don't think we can afford that. 40 million is a lot. 40 million. Going once. We have 45 million for logistics space number three. Number 11, 45 million. Number 11 is still the one setting the record, everybody. Are there any other offers higher than 45 million? Mr. Liu, that's Mr. Yao Yuan's car in front of us. Why didn't you answer my call? No phone calls while driving. I don't have a driver. What if the police catch me? We're all heading to the airport. Let's just talk in my car. What do I do with mine? Don't worry about it. <laughs> Hello? What is it, Chung? Brother, there's a problem. May just bid over our budget on behalf of Yun Tian Kong. Fifty-five million! Once again! On number 11! Brother, they just bid 55 million. Should I bid 60? That's an important town. The base can affect the surrounding area. You have to get it. Okay, I understand. Hey, 
You're a billionaire, you know. Why don't you hire a driver instead of driving for yourself? The car isn't really mine. The guy who owns it owed me some money and offered for me to use it to pay for his debt. Besides, I personally don't feel comfortable being served. So tell me, are you going to Shanghai? Are you going to Chengdu? <laughs> I left you three floors in the office building of Yuntian Kam, you know. I even left you a floor in the underground garage. And then what? Then Yuan Feng will become your exclusive logistics? What's wrong with that? Huh? And I guarantee your development will take a big leap in the next decade. I give you all of Yuntian Kam's orders, and that's easy money for you. But please, show me some respect. I'm one of your shareholders. Oh, that's right. You're right, you are one of our shareholders. The third biggest one. And? How many shares do you have? I own 15%. Are you playing dumb with me? Is that it? Mr. Liu, we were forced to live in that small courtyard during SARS. I think you've foreseen that step the moment you drafted the contract for us. Hmm. I think you've done the same thing. I used to own 30%. You've invested in strategic investment all throughout these years. And my shares have been depleted a lot by you. There's an old saying. Prevent fires, theft, and shrewd shareholders. I know you well, okay? You don't want to rely on others. I can understand your ambition. But I want to tell you that logistics can be used for the internet, which is going to be a big thing in the near future. I believe that. And I will do that, but you and I should be on equal footing. Listen, I'm in the advanced position. I deal in the upstream and you in the downstream. No. Even if you have a human body, you also need us to run as your legs. You can't move without us. <laughs> 55 million yuan! Going once! Going twice! 55 million! Congratulations! Number 14, you have set quite the record! Now the number 3 logistics base has reached 60 million bits! Mr. Yao, you know what? Don't worry about it. I'll give Ying Fang as much free space as it needs. I won't have any freedom if Yuan Feng becomes part of you. <laughs> Hello, please present your boarding pass. Sir, you have an economy class ticket. You can't enter here. Hey, now why are you so frugal? Like I said, we're different. We can't sit together. Okay, see you. Hey, hey, hey. I'll pay for it, miss. Okay then, sir. Let's have a chat. There should be some room for bargaining. <sighs> Go ahead then. What do you want? There's no way. Yu and Feng is like my child. I can't sell it to you. Do you know why I'm in such a rush to get to Shanghai? Do you know why I'm going to Chengdu then? Believe it or not, as soon as my plane lands there, maybe your business in Chengdu is over. Why don't we bet on it? A bet? Yeah. Okay, let's make a bet then. Well, the bet is that whoever loses will have to cook for the winner all by himself. How does that sound? Okay. 65 million yuan! Going twice! Anyone topping that? There! Number 14, now bid 70 million! Wow. He really wants Anyone? That. 70 million? No way he's gonna top that. No one? Going once! Hello? What? Mr. Liu. 70 You're million! You're crazy, they bid 70 million. All right! Congratulations, number 14, for your bid on the number three logistics base. Listen. Brother, they pretended to bid with us. She came to Chengdu to merge with Xinan Express. She signed with them.
Hello? Looking for me? You're on a plane? To Chengdu. When you get there, I want to talk to you about something. Go ahead. I have time right now. Uh, I have a cash flow problem here. How much? Eight million. When do you need it? It's urgent. I need it before tomorrow afternoon. Oh, I can pay you back in two weeks, plus interest. All right. I'll give you ten. I'll transfer it before noon tomorrow. <sighs> I turn to you because we're on good terms. How can you bargain with me? Hey, five million is fine. Five. Do you want it, or not? I really don't want to see the new rich like you, if not for the money someone from abroad owes me that I can't get yet. <laughs> Fine. Ten million then. Huh? <sighs> huh? What's that? Foreigners can't pay? <sighs> it's been a few months now. There are big customers who don't stock up. But you're all right. You're one of the new rich now. That's a good thing. But you should be careful with your money. Don't be so careless. I've just replenished my funds. I have enough cash flow. Uh, I have something to tell you, but don't panic. Apparently, the rumors are true, Yao Yuan. Hello? Are you listening? What can I do then? That can't go on like this, you know? You can't just let it go like that. They deliver from two stations. I can't interfere with that. It's an excuse. You are being too lenient to uncle and his sons. I have to go. I'm getting off. The money will be transferred tomorrow, okay? Goodbye. We hope to see you next time. Brother, over here. Come this way. <laughs> Come here, brother. It's this is Mr. Zhao you, from Mr. Chengdu, oh, and Mr. Yes, Li nice from Logistics. Oh, it's nice, nice to, to meet, meet you, Mr. Yao. And these are Chengdu's uh, local reporters. Uh, Hello, Mr. Yao. Do you have time to give us an exclusive interview? It's no problem. Take as long as you want. But I have to go to the washroom. It's been a long flight. All right, let me go there first. In the meantime, Chung here will keep you company. Yes, of course. Just I'll stay be back. put, okay? Thank you. He'll be right back. It was a long flight. Please wait a minute. Brother, you can't blame me. I wanted to pick you up by myself, but when the managers found out, they wanted to follow me. You broke the rules, Gao Chung. If you wanted a show, hire a line dance team. They can play <laughs> gongs and drums. Don't be like that. You're too low profile. Journalists want to release your news first. They won't lose this chance. But don't worry, I can figure it out. I promise they won't get a single picture out of you. Are you miffed because of Huamei? Forget it. If it wasn't for her, we wouldn't have spent so much. How long has it been? You didn't talk to her? No, I didn't. I left right away. You are so mean. Treat her to dinner. <laughs> You're way too generous. When we were busy expanding, Liu Yuntian got ahead of us and merged with Xinan Express. It's a rather tough move. Hey Chung, buy me a map and pin it to my office. Mark all of Xinan Express's delivery stations for me. All right. By the way, brother, Tonight, our colleagues in these areas, the bosses of logistics and delivery, and our partner, we have to have dinner with them, no, right? No, 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 you don't have to. No, brother, it's necessary. We use their truck fleet for hundreds of deliveries. Their bosses have to meet you. There's also the fund we just received. They're bankrolling our business. Okay, old rules. Help me out. Of course, no Go worries. Go back to work. Okay. <laughs> I'm so sorry about that. The thing is, Mr. Yao just received an urgent phone call about work just now, so we already left. Oh. But our dinner this evening will carry on as planned. Oh. Is that okay? Okay, Thank no you. problem. Thank you so see you much. in the evening. Oh, we'll I'm see so you sorry, later. Mr. All Lee. Right. Talk? 
Shinan Express is a regional logistics company. It frankly doesn't make any sense for our global e-commerce network. Depending on the third-party logistics, Yuntian Com can distribute the goods completely. We just do our own e-commerce as well as we possibly can. And right now, there's a long list of express companies waiting in line to serve us. That, that seems fair. And Yuan Fang Express. It isn't necessary to carry out forced mergers and acquisitions. Now Yuan is called Bold Yao in the industry. Why should we recruit him? Oh, Mr. Liu. <sighs> Mr. Liu, when did you come back? Well, carry on, huh? Don't stop just because I showed up. It's all right by me. Sit. If you have nothing to say, then I'll say a few words. So far until this very day, 70% of the complaints we receive are due to distribution. If the distribution is not left into our own hands, we can't provide our customers with the best shopping experience.